What's up, everybody? Poke Chaos here, back for the third and final uh, ten of the Shiny Kalos Legendary set. This one being the Zygar tin. It's the first time I'm actually showing off the back, because usually I don't go over this stuff. I'm not going to go over it. If you guys want to read it, you can pause and read it. It's all just like lore to card game. Nothing's really important, and then it tells you, you know, that you get four packs and a tin and a code card. And it's like you already know that for the most part. But we do have the Zygarde EX tin. Uh, Zygarde not shiny. Which is whatever. It's, uh, it doesn't matter if it's shiny or not. As long as the card is somewhat good. We have our four packs. Two Fates Collide. Breakthrough and at Roaring Skies we have our other our shiny Veltal and shiny Xerneas promo still chilling in the back. And we have the Zygarde EX from Fates Collide with Lands Pulse, Cell Storm, and Lands Wrath. Just has different artwork and it is promo number 151. Uh, this artwork, I mean, I actually, if I had to choose an artwork, I like the artwork from Fates Collide a little bit better. This one really just looks like a frickin' Power Rangers Zord. But we got our packs. We're gonna go in the same order we've been doing. Breakthrough, Roaring Skies, and Fates Collide. At least this time we have different Fates Collide artworks instead of the Mega Alexam and Zygarde. So we're gonna start with Breakthrough. And hopefully, I'm hoping, kind of a long shot, but I'm hoping that this tin provides some better pulls than both the Veltal and Xerneas ones. A Pan Sage, Ralts, Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Goldeen, Curlia, Parallel City, Granbull, Reverse Houndoom Spirit Link, and the rare is a regular rare Smeargle. So, Roaring Skies. Do you have Shaman? Do you have the Dragon Mega Rayquaza? Dragon Mega Rayquaza would complete my non-full art set, which would be wonderful for me. Uh, full art Shaman would just, you know, be the most expensive card of the set. We have Ninkata, Gligar, Voltorb, Inkay, Binnacle, Ladio Spirit Link, Executor, Unpheasant, Reverse Bagon, and the rare is Bayonet, which I got in the Roaring Skies pack of my Veltal tin. Thanks, Roaring Skies, for sucking. So we'll open up this Delphox break pack, and then we have Lugia break, so at least the two break artworks came in the same tin. One, two, three, one, two. Maybe we can get a break. Maybe we can get an EX. I don't know. Gotta get something good in both these packs to beat the Veltal team. We got Coughing, Larvitar, Volibi, Mincino, Whismer, Shuckle, Helix Fossil Ammonite, Random Receiver, Reverse Duosion, so no break, and Bronzong, so regular rare. <sighs> Which means this tin is going to be either worse than the Veltal tin or just as good unless I can get a break and an ultra rare in the same pack or like I can get a full art which I don't know I think I've gotten like two full arts from this set so far and I don't think we're getting a full art here we got Minchino, Coughing, Vullaby, Solosis, Cottony, Zygarde, ten percent. Whimsicott, Alakazam, Spirit Link, Del Fox Break. So there we go. There's something. There's something. We got Flare Witch. Once during your turn, before you attacking me, search your deck for a Fire Energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And the rare is a Mandibuzz. So nothing great. But we did get the Del Fox Break, which is uh, not necessarily anything special in terms of playability, but it is a good card nonetheless to get. Card I didn't have. So if you guys enjoyed 
this opening do make sure to hit the like button on video make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time bye